I'm Athena with Women Empowering, and today I want to talk to you about family peace. It's also the same for friendships. Have you ever been in a circumstance where you had an argument or a misunderstanding, or feelings were hurt, and then you didn't communicate for a while? And then that, because no one reached in that gap of time, became so long that you actually felt uncomfortable about making plans to get back together again? I've had this happen. Fortunately for my family, we worked through it and became close again. But I know dozens of families that have this happen and then no one speaks up, no one stands up for love, and it goes on for years, for well, months, years, and possibly never getting back together. We cannot even hope for our children and grandchildren to ever live in a world where there is not wars and killing that's glorified through wars, where there's not intolerance of pollution, and where companies and businesses function as collaborators and in win-win circumstances only instead of greed, unless we can heal our families and our friendships and we can be for love at the most intimate level will we ever see it on our planet. And so I'm going to share a story with you today um, that will explain the technique mixed in with it that I'm hoping to bring to you. We all want to be loved and accepted and when we withhold our love, we all lose. So here's what happened. My sweet, very dear friend came into a family with multiple generations of divorce and remarriage and she said she could see the love that was there within the family for, for each other and all the stepmoms and stepgrandmas in my family, we call that the bonus mom and the bonus grandma. Everyone was not able to connect and really unite in a close way. She was relentless in her passion for this family to reconnect in this way and she was loving and compassionate and she saw everyone's views and helped them through different gatherings, etc. to see each other's side and to see each other in a better light and to have healing. And then recently, at a family celebration of a, of a birth of a new family member, as she looked around the room and saw everyone feeling closeness and the bonus aunties and the bonus grandparents and everyone hugging and holding each other and laughing, she realized that her vision had come to fruition. And she said that as she looked around, she realized that that picture was all that she ever held in her heart the whole entire time. And that is how healing occurs, holding that vision of what's possible and seeing only that, being only for that, and not letting go of it. So I hope that this inspired some connection for you. Thank you.